Between 2001 and 2013, bones belonging to a species of dinosaur called Diplodocus were uncovered from a dig site in Wyoming known as Foot Site RFS. In this time, three significant bones from an individual Diplodocus were unusual. The specifics in question were two pubis bones and a left femur. These bones showed oddities that didn't make any sense for any of the species of Diplodocus that had been found. The left pubis bone was found to have a strange growth on it and was considered to be from a new species. The right pubis bone had a callus of bone repair around the midsection and the left femur's muscle attachment, called the fourth trochanter, extended along the back of it much further than it should. It was clear that these strange looking bones were not the result of different species of dinosaur, but the result of pathologies. An investigation into what caused these pathologies was undertaken. What could cause so much damage to one of the biggest dinosaurs ever known? Speculation into the cause has put forward two potential possibilities. Number one, the dinosaur had a terrible fall. It's possible that the Diplodocus slipped or was pushed by another animal, causing it to trip up. An animal as big and heavy as a Diplodocus would surely cause severe damage to itself if it had an unexpected fall. But the second possibility would make this Diplodocus one of the unluckiest dinosaurs to have ever lived if it were true. It is possible that somehow the animal ended up on its back, and while in this state may have been stomped in the crotch by another dinosaur. Now there's no way to be certain on knowing how exactly this animal managed to get hurt. What we do know though is that the muscle attached to the femur's trochanter was pulled and the bone growth from the left pubis was infected and formed onto the right pubis, which was broken. The animal lived long enough for the break to heal on the right pubis and cause a growth from the left. What we can't be sure of is if the pubis pathologies happened at the same time as the femurs. It's possible that the pathologies on the leg and the hips were caused by two independent causes for each of them. In any case, the number of pathologies to be found on this individual of Diplodocus is unprecedented and is an incredible discovery that may one day be able to tell the story of this dinosaur. The research to this study was published in 2018 in the journal Paleodicola and it was written by me. I have attached related links into the information section of this video's page. Completing this study is one of the greatest achievements of my life so far. As someone who was inspired by the BBC's Walking with Dinosaurs, The Ballad of Big Al, it was an honour to investigate my own dinosaur crime scene, working out what was wrong with this dinosaur and what caused the pathologies. I dubbed my Diplodocus Uzi due to the pit-like structures on the bone growth that most likely would have oozed pus. Much more of the skeleton of this Diplodocus needs to be excavated which continues every summer. I hope to visit the dig site again one day and perhaps learn more about my dinosaurs.